everybody. I'm still sick, but I have a lot to talk about, so try and keep up. Uh, first of all, I have four packages that I'm sending out in the next, well, today. And I felt like I needed to do a YouTube video before I sent out, well, I'm actually sending three packages, but it was supposed to be four, but it got condensed to three. But we're going to pretend it's still four, because it's four different things that I have to talk about. The first one is to DCT Cool. Uh, he and I were talking on Skype the other day, and we were showing each other, like, stuff in our rooms and stuff like that, and it was really kind of fun to talk to someone in Australia while I was, you know, here in Texas. And I showed him this, and on the spot, I decided he should have it, because I've been trying to figure out what I was going to do with these. This is a little baby dragon. I've shown you all my bigger dragons before, but this is a little baby one that I got this year. Uh, I never named them because I didn't want to get attached to them. This is how they work. Just so you know, Dave, just so, you know, when you get it, you're not confused. In and out means his head goes up and down for a yes motion. And twisting this in your thumb and forefinger does a no motion. Also, again, for your benefit, Dave, I'm going to show you how you wear this. Just in case you want to wear it sometime. What you do is you choose which arm you want to have it hidden in and you feed it through your sleeve. And then he sits on that shoulder and this hides down the back of your arm and in your hand. And then he moves around. Watcha! 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 And you can do little, uh, you can do little voices and things like that. Um, our most popular thing to do is just go up to someone who obviously has never seen the dragon before. You can go, just just pet him. Pet him. And when they do, you go, bah! Or you make a noise and you jump at him and they scream like bloody hell. It is so freaking funny. Uh, I'm going to package him the best that I can that he doesn't break. But he is his uh, face and his body are made out of clay. So, if anything happens to the exterior, hot glue should fix it, because all the pieces, I, I hate to talk like this, but if anything breaks off, like his ear or his eye, hot glue will fix it, no problem. If something happens to the cable or uh, his puppetry motion, I have a link, I'm going to put a link in the side to the company that makes these, and uh, they will... It, you know, contact them and they'll say send it to us and we'll fix it because these guys have a lifetime warranty. Um, but for just superficial things like his face and you know the clay and everything, hot glue will fix it. Uh, I think that's everything I had to say about this guy. So this is going to Australia! Ah! And I hope you come up with a good name for him because I couldn't think of anything. Okay, the next thing. I'm a terrible, terrible, terrible person. I really, really am. I still have the Make Your Mark YouTube. <laughs> um, and I know nothing I do will make up for the fact that I've had it for months, six months, just about, yeah. Uh, nothing will make up for that fact. But, but, I'm sending it to DCT Cool, who is also going to a YouTube gathering in Australia soon. So, he will be able to get several signatures on here, and hopefully that'll make up for it a little bit. But I'm finally sending it, so I'm I'm a terrible person. Now, the third thing I'm going to do, I'm sending it to some distant land. No, I'm not. Just Utah. Go figure. I know so little about Utah that I can't even think of anything to make fun of Utah for. But, go figure. In Utah, there is wonderful talent. One of my most favorite artists in the entire world lives in Utah. And I a couple weeks ago, I commissioned her to do a piece for me. And we agreed on a price and all that jazz that I was going to send by money order. Because she doesn't have PayPal. And uh, then I was talking to her about how I've been making duct tape roses. And she said, well, how about we just do an art trade? You can send me a duct tape rose that you make. And I'm like, okay. So, I made her a duct tape rose. Ah, 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 ah. 
uh, in the link, uh, I'm going to have a link to her page on the side because she's really amazing and she just seems to pump out art. It's amazing. But this is her duct tape rose that I'm sending to Utah. Isn't it pretty? And I gave it rose oil so it actually smells like rose. What was the fourth thing I was going to talk about? Oh, and uh, that actually inspired me to finally get off my butt and do the uh, picture or the photograph that I was going to submit to a charity art book. Uh, the due date's not for a couple more days, but I needed to do something, and I took a picture, and this is the picture I'm going to submit. I'm really, really proud of that photo. Uh, that's the one I'm going to submit. If you want to see a larger version of it, there's a link on the side. And uh, I also have a link to the Charity Art Books website. And the fourth thing that I'm sending is the CD to my the customer that I did uh, the mother-daughter picnic for. I did, a, I did a photo shoot of their mother-daughter picnic on Saturday. And uh, I'm sending this to them. I'm going back to bed. I'm still really, really, really sick, but I needed to do this. I'll see you guys later.